Press and drag operations in Solid Edge help you accomplish more in less time. There are several commands in Solid Edge that can only be accomplished using press and drag. Some oldies, but all goodies. Here's a quick summary. Number one, press and drag models from the library pane to create drawing views. From Solid Edge options, annotations tab, tick on retrieve dimensions. Press and drag a model. You've got three drawing views with dimensions in a single operation. Number two, create a standard layout for all your drawings in a project. Then, create a quick sheet template and save it to the Solid Edge Templates folder. Use the quick sheet template for a new drawing and drop the model on the empty view. Voila! The new drawing with standard views, section view, detail view, and the parts list are ready, instantly. Number 3. Also, press and drag PDF, MS Word, Excel, RTF, or simple text files, and drop them on a drawing sheet. The first page of the PDF or Word document, or the active sheet from Excel, is displayed. Number 4. Press and drag JPEG files, directly from the Windows Explorer. Press and drag the border, to position the frame. Press and drag the corner handles, to resize. Number 5. Now, trace over the image to create a symbol. Press and drag to edit to the library. A DFT file is automatically created for the symbol. Number 6. Press and drag the symbol from the library to use it in new drawings. Also, press and drag DWG and DXF files, which are added as blocks. Number 7. Keep the Alt key pressed and using the right mouse button, press and drag to zoom area. Number 8. Press and drag from the left to right, to select objects, that lie completely within the fence. Number 9. Press and drag key points on 2D objects, and drop them over other key points, to match them precisely. Note that this also creates, the connect relationships, automatically. Number 10. Press and drag the middle mouse button, or the mouse wheel to pan. Press and drag from the right to left, to select objects, that intersect the borders of the fence. Number 11. Press and drag, in the trim corner tool to trim the corners at the intersection. This again, creates the connect relationships, automatically. Number 12. Keep the control key pressed, and using the right mouse button, press and drag to zoom. Press and drag in the trim corner tool, to just add relations, even when no trimming is required. Great for quickly adding relations, to import a DWG and DXF files. Number 13. Press and drag to create rectangles, circles, and arcs. Then drag them into position, and add relations at the same time. You can even resize objects by simply pressing and dragging. Press and drag to create curves and also to adjust the shape by dragging the control points. Number 14. Keep the control key pressed, then press and drag to copy objects. Number 15. Press and drag to quickly extend multiple objects in one shot. Also, trim multiple objects using press and drag. Number 16. Press and drag to move objects without losing the relations. Keep the Alt key pressed, and press and drag objects, to temporarily suspend relations. You can even add chamfers and rounds, using press and drag. Number 17. Press and drag fill objects, from one area to another. Keep the control key pressed, and press and drag, to copy fills. Shape up parts fast and easily, using press and drag in Solid Edge. Number 18. Use the free sketch command to create multiple 2D objects, using press and drag. Number 19. The new draw command, additionally recognizes, ellipse and free curves, simply by pressing and drawing an approximate shape. Number 20. And don't waste time picking holes or circles, for creating hole tables. Press and drag, to pick all holes at once. Same for creating simple center marks. Number 21. Press and drag, to move a drawing view and also maintain the alignment with the related views. Keep the Alt key pressed to break the alignment and move the view. Number 22. Press and drag to move the viewing plane and drawing view labels. Press and drag the detail envelope to update the detail view dynamically. Number 23. Edit the detail envelope and press and drag to change the size of the detail view. Also, drag the handles of the drawing view to crop the view.
Number 24. Press and drag to move dimensions from the main view to the detail view. Number 25. Create alignment with an existing dimension using the Q line. Keep the Alt key pressed. Press and drag a dimension to override the alignment. After releasing the Alt key, press and drag to move the dimensions together with the new alignment. Number 26. Press and drag to flip arrows outside the extension lines. Press and drag to hide extension lines. Number 27. Press and drag to move the dimension text away from its default position. Or press and drag the dimension text to move it completely outside the extension lines. Keep the Alt key pressed and press and drag the dimension text away from the dimension line. Press and drag to move the dimension back to its default position using the Q lines. Number 28. Press and drag a callout or feature control frame to snap and align with any of the eight standard angles. Number 29. Keep the Alt key pressed. Then, press and drag a callout to reattach it to a different part. The callout recognizes the new part and updates the callout text. Number 30. Press and drag a blue vertex on an alignment shape to resize it globally and the gray vertex to edit the shape locally. Also, press and drag to push one balloon over another to adjust the spacing. Number 31. In the variable table, drag the column headers to reorder. In the parts list properties dialog, place the mouse cursor between two column headers and press and drag to adjust the column width. For parts list placed on a sheet, drag the handles on the columns to adjust the width. Number 32. For a multi-page parts list, keep the Alt key pressed and press and drag the second page to place it at a different location. Press and drag the separated page close to the main page and dock it back using the Q line. Number 33. In the Assembly Parts Library pane, right-click to display the preview area. Press and drag in the preview area to adjust the orientation of the part to suit the assembly. Press and drag the part into the assembly with the same orientation as in the preview. Number 34. Press and drag a part directly from the Assembly Pathfinder. The part is copied in the assembly with the same orientation as the existing one. Keep the control key pressed and press and drag a part from the Pathfinder. The part is inserted at a location to match its base coordinate system with that of the assembly. Keep the shift key pressed and press and drag a part from the Pathfinder. This inserts the part at the dropped location and in the same orientation where it was created. Number 35. Press and drag the Pathfinder to float it in the graphics area. Press and drag to dock it back in either the right or the left side of the solid edge window. Number 36. If file names appear truncated in the Pathfinder, press and drag the header to show the full names. Number 37. Using the right mouse button, press and drag quickly in the direction of a command icon on the radial menu to issue that command without actually displaying the radial menu. Number 38. In the Customize dialog, press and drag a command from the list on the left and drop it on the radial menu to customize it. Number 39. Press and drag a style sphere and drop it on a part in the assembly to apply the style to the part. Number 40. Press and drag pane headers from the edge bar to make it a separate floating panel. Press and drag the header of the panel and dock it to any side of the solid edge window. Using the docking stickers, press and drag the panel header and drop it back on the blue circle at the center to dock it back in its home position. Number 41. Press and drag the prompt bar to the side or place it at the top for better visibility. Number 42. Press and drag the tabs in the side pane or edge bar. Also, press and drag file tabs to change the order. Number 43. Press and drag to resize the panes found on the right side of the solid edge window. Number 44. Press and drag a part directly from the Windows Explorer into an assembly to add as a component. Press and drag a part file and drop it on the solid edge title bar to open it. Number 45. Press and drag blocks directly from inside of DWG files into the current DFT file without having to manually open or translate the DWG to the solid edge DFT format. Number 46. Double click a parts list, then press and drag to highlight cells. Now, change the font or alignment from the floating toolbar. Number 47. Press and drag a dimension handle to reattach to a new point in the part. The dimension value updates to reflect the change. Number 48. When a reference plane is created from a small face, it appears small. In the ordered mode, double-click to show the resize handles. Then, 
Press and drag to resize the reference plane. In the synchronous mode, select resize from the command bar and press and drag the resize handles. Number 49. In the extrude command, in the ordered mode, don't waste time picking several loops. Select the single option from the command bar, then select all objects by including in a window using press and drag. Same for the round feature, take the edge or corner option from the command bar, then press and drag to select multiple edges to round. In the dynamic edit mode, press and drag a sketch element to edit the feature dynamically. Number 50. In the ordered mode, press and drag a feature to reorder. This helps fix issues and produce desirable results. And now, for something completely different. Draw a line and apply a lock relation. Draw more lines and create smart driving dimensions. Create angular dimensions, which are driven. In just three steps, you have created a four-bar chain mechanism in Solid Edge. Press and drag to test the mechanism. Press and drag other linkages and instantly observe the range of the angles visually. These 50 tips show that press and drag commands in Solid Edge are fun, easy, and extremely useful. Using press and drag operations in Solid Edge help you design faster, since it is not just quicker to use, but also you bypass looking up for commands.